Now we have one of New Zealand's top mum bloggers on the cafe today, so we dragged her into the coffee group. Maria Foy from Happy Mum, Happy Child. Welcome along. Thank you. Nice to have you here. And from the parenting place today, it's our first time welcoming mum of three, Petra Baggist. We are talking about the truth of parenting. Morning, Petra. Good morning. Lovely to have you here as nice well. Nice to be here. I forgot my coffee. Oh, look, that's a rookie mistake. You won't do that next time either. Do you think, Petra, first let's start with you, that it's normal to feel like a bad mum at times? I, I reckon it is. I reckon anybody who doesn't feel like they've stuffed up at some point um, isn't being honest with themselves. And I did get myself into a situation in the kitchen the other day where I'm like, OK, how much damage am I doing here? And I turned to my daughter and I said, how many chances do you think we get as parents? Because I was just feeling desperate. I was just feeling like I've stuffed up again. I've fought the wrong battle. And anyway, mm. she said a million. And that's true. You get a million chances. And I think it's about staying in the game and being kind to yourself and being kind to them. That is actually really, really good advice. Mm. Because you do have those moments where you just feel like, oh, I'm just being the worst parent of the world. I'm not engaging. I'm not being nice. And I'm just being mean. Uh, so that's great advice from your daughter. Yeah, I thought it was good. And I've dubbed it scruffy parenting. Because I know there's a move now for scruffy hospitality. Come take us as we are, bring something to eat. I don't care if it's leftovers, come over. Because yeah. it's better to be together and doing it. Hashtag than... scruffy parenting. Yeah. Let's yeah. make yeah. a scruffy movement parenting. of that one. Yeah. It's a bit of a mess. <laughs> so Maria, what do you wish that people told you about having children before you had babies? Oh, that does. <laughs> well, which can of worms, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's always the sleep one, but I don't think anything can prepare you for the lack of sleep. So uh, I think that one thing I wish people had told me was that... Um, it w it's okay to feel like you might have lost your life for a little bit. Yeah. You get it back, it might be in a different format, mm. but it's not going to be the same as it was. It's going to so. be better. It's going to be better because you've got all these amazing kids. And there's more laughter. Yeah, yeah. more yeah. Is it complete insanity. <laughs> and when you do have those moments of quiet and peace, you go, wow, you really appreciate yes, them because all of a sudden you're not you used do. to them. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Petra, do you, think, do you find it helpful to sort of share the emotional side of parenting, sort of? to share the tough parts of being a parent? Do you think that's a good thing to do? Yeah, I fully believe in the power of confession, which is where you don't pretend everything's okay because you use heaps of energy maintaining this front. Um, friends of ours started uh, sending uh, photos to each other called hashtag breaking the illusion, where they'd send a photo of their lounge covered in the washing and their children in tears. You know, the reality is tantrums happen and, and arguments happen and sibling rivalry, it all happens. And so safely sharing it with peers, I think is good. I don't think you need to share it with your children. I just can't handle you anymore. I am sick of being your parent. I don't think you have to put it on there. Yeah. But you do need to release it sometimes with each other. Mm. And then you hear other people going, actually, yeah, that's how I feel too. I think you really do, and it makes you feel much better about your own skills, doesn't it, when you realise we're not all Instagram perfect. Oh, we yeah. like to, we put the pictures, we put we the do. pictures of our babies yeah. on there looking perfect. Yeah. That's what we yeah. do, but we're not, that's not what life's like. You come to my day, my lounge any given day, and there's piles yeah. of washing everywhere. <laughs> so let's... Bring to the, the to the table sanity savers. What mm. do you do with sanity savers? Because Maria, I hear that you do something that I have been known to do in the past <laughs> as well, which is lock myself in the bathroom. Yes, uh, I do tell my children where I'm going because they tend to have a habit of, even though I tell them, they still freak out. So I've always got to communicate, and then I'll go on with my phone. I try not to eat, but sometimes I might take a chocolate bar in. There, so <laughs> any time I can get to myself, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, the bathroom is my happy place yeah. sometimes. What about you, Petra? Um, sanity savers is probably for me recently going for a run um, if I get grumpy my children actually say to me mum maybe you want to go for a run uh, which I, I find amusing but it's um, yeah taking those moments like mm. reading a book or doing something for myself yeah. and then not feeling guilty about it yeah. that's the thing but, yeah reaching out to friends not feeling guilty your children still quite young aren't they yes. so the, the bathroom is your friend I've just taken up running as well your kids are a little bit older and can be left alone now <laughs> More or less. <laughs> yes, there's somebody else around. For a half an hour run, it's fine. They're just going to be absolutely good. No problem whatsoever. Hey, it's been a real pleasure having you guys in the coffee group today.